What's up mushroom, subscribe and like this video, and if not, I'll smash this mushroom cheese like this. Roblox Miraculous Episode, Chameleon. How'd you pull this off, Alia? You're the best! I can't believe you got everyone to swap seats so I can sit next to Adrian. Then again, it might not be the best idea. It could keep me from paying attention in class, and if I fail it'd be a total disaster because then Adrian and I would never have our own house, the three kids, the hamster named. Whoa girl, what are you talking about? You're not sitting next to Adrian. Your seat's over there. At the back? Why? What's going on? Well since she's got a hearing issue, there's no way she can sit at the back of the class, right? Which means she needed a place up in the front. So to make it work, Ivan sat next to Milan, Nate sat next to Alex, besides she came up with the idea of moving Nino here, so now we get to spend more time together. Who is this she? Good morning, students. I'm sure you've all heard by now. But Lila's home from her trip to Achu and she's back in school with us again. Hi, everyone. <laughs> oh, a seat in the front row. You all remembered my hearing issue. You're such sweethearts, all of you. You have a hearing problem, Lila? Yes, I suffer from tinnitus, a constant ringing in my left ear. I've had it ever since the sound of an airplane engine burst my eardrum on the runaway when I was saving Jagged Stone's lost kitten. Isn't Jagged Stone's pet a crocodile? Now it is, yes. But he had a kitten until he found out he was allergic to it. The best part is, since you're such an excellent student, Adrian, you'll be able to help me catch up with all the schoolwork I missed while I was traveling with my parents. Would you do that for me? Sure, Lila. Miss Bustier, why do I have to sit in the back now? Do you have any trouble hearing or seeing, Marinette? Uh, I, I... My eyesight and hearing are good. I'll sit in the back of the class and you two can sit up front. I don't mind. No. No. My return is causing so much trouble, maybe I should have just stayed on the other side of the world. If Marinette has an issue too, then I should be the one to go and sit in the back. It's okay. I don't actually have any trouble seeing or hearing. I mean... Good, so there's no problem then. You sit here, Lila. Adrian, you stay where you are and, Marinette, you sit in the back row. Ah, uh, high school, the arena of teenage angst, where emotions are so intense. A perfect stadium for my dear Akumas. Being separated from your friends, becoming isolated, just what devastating anger is made of. Fly away and evilize this angry high school girl. Open your books to page 23. Strange, I feel the fury dying down, but the wheels are in motion. It's only a matter of time, be patient now my Akuma. Thank you guys. You're all so sweet, I'm sorry I can't carry my own tray. It's almost impossible with a sprained wrist. Lila's totally lying. She made up that whole tinnitus story just so she could sit next to Adrian, and her sprained wrist's completely bogus, too. I don't get it, Marinette. You barely know Lila. Why all the hate? Fine, I'll tell you everything. You remember Lila when she first came to school right after the summer break? She was only here for one day and then she left on that round the world trip. Everyone was captivated by her. Something just felt off to me, so I followed her. What? Not only did Ladybug save my life, we've become very close friends. She lies with every breath. Wait. You eavesdropped on Leela and Adrian? That's not cool. A good reporter always verifies her sources. Can you prove she doesn't actually know Ladybug? Well I uh... I... I... Okay. You want proof she's lying? Hey Lila. You forgot your napkin. <laughs> ha ha. See that? It's obvious she doesn't have a sprained wrist. Uh, ow. Once when I was in India, I witnessed someone getting their eye gouged out by the corner of a napkin. If I hadn't caught it, this napkin could have injured Max. 
I didn't have a choice. Ow. Leela, you saved my eye. You sacrificed yourself for me. Why wouldn't I, Max? Ouch. You're my friend. We'll take you to the nurse's office. Are you proud of yourself? Lala's in even more pain now, all because of you. No, no, don't blame Marinette. She was just trying to give me a napkin. Right, Marinette? Nope. Marinette? Oh, are you crying? No, I'm not. I can sense that you don't like me, but I don't understand why. We barely know each other. Miss Joff here is trying to impress you and everyone around her. Don't tell me it's because of this new seating arrangement in class. It is. Of course, you're jealous because I'm sitting next to Adrian, because you would have given anything to sit there yourself. You know what? It's really not worth fighting over a boy. You and I could be friends, and who knows, I might even be able to help you with Adrian. You and I will only be friends the day you stop lying, Lila. I can't prove it, but I know for a fact that you don't have tinnitus, that your wrist is just fine, that you don't know Prince Ollie because you've never even stepped foot in Atu. And despite what you got all you to write on her lady blog, Ladybug has never saved your life. I only tell people what they want to hear. It's called lying. There's nothing you can do about it, anyway. People can't resist when they hear what they like to hear. If you don't want to be my friend, fine. But soon you won't have any friends left at all. And trust me, I'll make sure you never get close to Adrian in class or anywhere. You seem a little less dumb than the others, so I'll give you one last chance. You are either with me or against me. You don't have to answer right away, I'll give you till the end of class today. I thought Chloe was evil, but Lila really takes the whole cake. She's like a supervillain who doesn't even need a costume. You must let her get to you, Marinette. If I don't manage to expose her lies, she'll ruin my life, Chicky. She'll turn my friends against me, including Adrian. Yes, I can feel it. The anger's about to emerge. Ahoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Ahoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Marinette, look out. Ah, and Akuma. Hey, Lila. Adrian, we'll have to figure when you're gonna help me catch up on all the schoolwork I missed. I also heard you play piano, my uncle's the great pianist Churchboro Chuck. He wanted to teach me when I was little, but I had to stop playing because of arthritis. But when my wrist gets better, I'd love for you to give me some lessons. Lila, I'm perfectly happy being friends with you, and I'll gladly help you catch on your school work, but please don't lie to me like you did last time with Ladybug. Ladybug's the liar. I'm not judging you, Lila. But instead of making friends you're going to turn everyone against you. You can tell me if there's something bothering you. I can help. But you need to be honest with me. Are you trying to be some superhero lecturing me just like Ladybug did? Well thanks, but no thanks. Ugh. I'm still here if you need help catching up with your school work. You can resist it, Marinette. Hawk Moth's power only affects people who think there's no solution to their problems, and you always find a solution. You're right. You won't get me. I'm proud. I'm confident. I'm Marinette. What's happened? The anger has disappeared. Hmm. But I can feel something new arising. I can't stand those super goody two-shoes. Yes, here's my chance. We can't let this Akuma run loose. Tiki, spot on. Come here, Akuma. Hawk Moth, I am Lila. I know you want to destroy a ladybug and so do I. Yes, I remember you. Give me supervillain powers and I'll give you her in Cat Noir's Miraculous. With pleasure. I have some new powers for you, Chameleon. Adrian, I wanted to apologize for what just happened. I thought about it and you're right. I want us to be friends, so I'll never tell another lie again. Will you make peace with me? Quack. Quack. Whoops, I lied. Adrian, Adrian. 
Nino, I have something to tell you. You don't deserve my friendship or your girlfriend or your cat. Hey. You should see your faces, don't miss my performance at the Eiffel Tower. You're gonna love it. What? Not Adrian. La 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 Whoa. Oh no, it's gonna fall. This is so easy, as soon as someone needs saving, that stupid ladybug shows up. La 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 Adrian, stop. Ah, uh, help me. I'm losing my balance, I'm gonna fall. My princess charming, you saved my life. You are not Adrian. You're right, I'm chameleon. You're getting better at this, Ladybug. Which is a good thing. It'll make this fight all the more interesting. If this an enchanted sleep, what can possibly wake him up? Oh no, not an enchanted kiss. Please, nobody will ever know. Plan, what happened? And what are you doing? Oh, me? Nothing I, ah. Uh, your friend Leela put you to sleep with an evil kiss. You should be more careful picking your friends. Lila must have been re -acumatized. Quick plan, claws out. Where did Chameleon go? Kaznat, Kaznat. Ladybug, I saw the supervillain running away. Thanks. Don't stay here, okay? It's dangerous. Come out of there, chameleon. Ladybug, look out. Nope. It's down to the two of us, Ladybug. Cataclysm. I'm gonna find out who you really are, Camille. I'll find out who you are first, don't you worry. Too bad Cat Noir's power is gonna destroy you. If you manage to touch me. Get me is miraculous, now. No. I wanna get hers first. Nowhere to run now, Ladybug. I don't intend to. Lucky try. It looks like you're going to be flat common yo. That's your plan to defeat me, Ladybug? <laughs> Ladybug. We're about to find out what you really look like, Chameleon. You'll see. It's an old acquaintance. No more evil doing for you, little Akuma. Time to do evil acts. Gotcha. Bye bye, little butterfly. Miraculous ladybug. Don't worry, you look good even without your cap. Hey. Layla? Ladybug. At least now you can say I saved your life for real. Truth. Thanks, Ladybug. I'd be honored to call you my friend. Yeah, I'm happy to hear that. Hey, some advice. You don't have to lie and pretend to be something you're not. People will like you just for being yourself. You have my word, Ladybug. Bug out. Bye. I sense a talent like no other in this young Lila. I'm sure that her feelings about Ladybug will serve my purposes well in the end. One way or another. Oops, time to go now guys. Ciao. Thanks for watching.